welcome Cancerians to your oracle reading and for you I pulled number 43 spider as your medicine card this week. 43 breaks down to 7 which is a number for spiritual illumination according to Carl Jung. So this week don't be surprised if you have a paradigm shift or an epiphany. Now spider medicine is weaving. That may not sound as though it applies in your life but spider medicine is really about creation. Grandmother Spider helped create reality called the dream weave in the indigenous tradition with her weaving. So too, you are being asked to consciously create this week. Now this could be as simple as writing a book or creating a piece of art, but really it asks that you be mindful of what you create with your beliefs and ideas. This is a great week to examine your beliefs and ideas. Pull out your journal and see if you can name as many beliefs or ideas that you hold. Start each sentence off as I believe and then evaluate if what you wrote is negative or positive. If you wrote mostly positive beliefs, congratulations, that's awesome. If you wrote mostly negative beliefs, it's time to reframe those. What we focus on, what we believe, is what we create in our reality. If we believe negative things, then the reality we experience will be negative. If you wrote down, I believe no one understands me, rewrite it, I believe I'm very interesting because I am unique. Then if that negative belief comes up again, remind yourself of the reframed belief. This is how you reprogram your subconscious. Eventually, the new belief will take root and replace the old reflexive negative belief. Now, for your mineral companion this week, I pulled pink opal. And pink opal is the stone of, it's a heart chakra stone of tender, tender loving care for yourself. Naturally, when you are working with beliefs and ideas, it is a bit tender. So treat yourself by lingering in the shower, buying yourself a piece of cake when at the grocery store, or putting on one of your favorite movies. Do little things for yourself this week that you would be for a friend going through a difficult time. For your advice card, I pulled number four, Beauty Way. Four is the number of reliability. So this has to do with the foundation of your being, the core of who you are. The advice here is to create beauty in your life. Beauty Way asks you to see beauty in everything. In our world, there is so much beauty. When on a walk, take time to appreciate the flowers. If you have roses in your yard, this is a week to go out and smell them. There is beauty in every sunrise and sunset. sunset. Within a child's smile or a puppy's playfulness. If you open your eyes to it, you will discover that beauty permanently surrounds you. For your clarifying card, I pulled number 34, Sylvanus. Again, 34 breaks down to 7, so we have this really strong energy of a paradigm shift this week. Now, Sylvanus is about personal truth. The mask he has there has mirrors inside it because it reveals deep interpersonal truths to the one who wears it. He also cuts away self-deception with a sword on the right. Overall, what I see here is a week of tremendous personal growth as you work towards creating your dream life by performing deep self-analysis. This process can be difficult, so treat yourself lovingly this week. Well, thank you for joining me. If you want more, check out your moon and rising sign videos. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you receive next week's oracle. Bye for now.